Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 famous people who want to be cryogenically frozen. No one looks forward to death, but the 10 people on this list take that to the extreme. What's more, a few of them have actually gone through with getting their body frozen. Continue watching to find out who. Number 10. Walt Disney The most famous case of cryogenic freezing actually never happened. The persistent rumor that the cartoon head Honcho froze himself so he could be, theoretically, reanimated in the future is just that, a rumor. When Disney died in 1966, Walt was actually interred in a memorial park in California. However, this doesn't mean that Walt Disney didn't want to be frozen. In 1972, Bob Nielsen, the then president of the California Cryogenic Society, said that Disney was in discussions to have his body cryogenically frozen, but never committed. As it happens, the first person to take the cryo plunge didn't do so until the year after Disney's death. So if Walt had gone through with it, he would have been the first. Something built, some kind of a, an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. Number nine, Paris Hilton and her dogs. This famous socialite has the money and the connections, so apparently she figures, why not? Paris and her dogs, Tinkerbell and Cinderella, are all headed for the freezer when they shuffle off this mortal coil. Hilton's said to have invested huge sums of money into the Cryonics Institute based in Mississippi. In the understatement of the century, she said of Cryonics, it's so cool. There are some people out there who say that this story about Hilton is bunkum, but we don't know. This sounds a lot like the Paris Hilton we know. Number eight, Larry King. When your biggest fear is death and your biggest asset is your bank account, getting frozen doesn't sound like a terrible idea. What have you got to lose, right? That's the way Larry King thinks anyways. My biggest fear is death because I don't think I'm going anywhere, King stated in 2011. When asked if he wanted to live forever, King said quite eloquently, you bet your ass. So if he could just never die, then he'd be happy. That's not too much to ask, right? Number seven, Seth MacFarlane. It was actually while speaking with our number eight entry that our number seven entry admitted to his cryogenic dream. Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane let on during his interview with Larry King that they share the same desire to live forever, even going so far as to suggest that the two get frozen together. Does it have to be at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Simon Cowell. We're sure that what the world really needs is Simon Cowell offering unwanted criticism to wannabe singers for the rest of time. Well, if Cowell's plan works, that's the way it's going to be. Not only has Cowell mentioned his cryo plans and in interviews on more than a few occasions, he also announced his intentions at a private dinner hosted by the then British Prime Minister Gordon Brown. I have decided to freeze myself when I die, Cowell said. Medical science is bound to work out a way of bringing us back to life in the next century or so. And I want to be available when they do. I would be doing the nation an invaluable service. You're so selfless, Simon. And I was drunk. I actually do tweet more when I'm drunk than I'm sober, I've got to be honest with you. That's dangerous. It's dangerous, yeah. And I kind of like, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking, did I tweet last night? I'm really hoping I didn't. And it's kind of like... Number five, FM 2030. Here's a man who's more famous for his name and the way he went out than anything else. Because yes, FM 2030's real name is FM 2030. Really. Born Thierry June M. Esfandiri in 1930, FM 2030 changed his moniker to reflect his desire to live till 100. He didn't quite make his goal, passing away in the year 2000 thanks to pancreatic cancer. However, he is the first person on this list who has actually been cryogenically frozen. So technically, should things work out the way he was anticipating, FM 2030 could still be there in 2030 to see in person the time period he thought would be quote unquote 
a magical time. Number 4. Muhammad Ali The world mourned the loss of this iconic boxer in 2016, but the jury's still out on whether Ali is gone for good. During the 1980s, Ali cultivated a fascination with cryonics and cryogenic technology. Since that time, he came out time and again saying that he wanted to be frozen when he died. The question is, though, now that he has passed away, had he organized to go through with it? If so, then Muhammad Ali is no doubt the most famous person to ever be frozen. But until proof is made public, he can't go any higher on this list than number four. Of Chicago. This will be no contest. This will be a total annihilation. I'm the heavyweight champion of the world, and I don't have to talk no more and say I'm the greatest because people tell me I'm the greatest. Will your next fight be billed as Cassius Clay or as Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali. Number three. Britney Spears. She's not dead yet, but hey, maybe she never will be. Having already paid the $200,000 it takes to get you frozen upon death, Britney Spears makes the number three spot on this countdown. She's already conquered the musical charts of the late 90s and the 21st century, so there's no reason why she can't do it again, and again, and again, forever and ever. Oh God. Number 2. Dick Claire Jones A writer, actor, and producer whose credits included The Facts of Life, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Bob Newhart Show, and more, Dick Claire Jones really fought for the opportunity to be frozen, ready to be brought back, and he succeeded. A member of the Cryonics Society in California, Jones donated a heap of his earnings to Trans Time Cryonics Organization. He went to court to fight for the right to cryogenically freeze himself. Today, he's in the freezer at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. Whether it was all worth it? Well, we guess we'll find out in due course, and Jones will find out if he ever wakes up to find a lab technician tapping on his coffin. Number 1. Ted Williams The most famous case of cryogenic preservation has to be world-renowned baseball legend Ted Williams. Even if it's just his head that's on ice. There was a lot of controversy around Ted's freezing, too. While his will said that he wished to be cremated, Ted's son John Henry said that his family has agreed to all be cryogenically frozen upon death so that they could all be revived together at some point in the future. John Henry even produced a family pact scrawled onto a cocktail napkin. Somehow, that seemed evidence enough, and Ted's head went into the freezer until such a time that he could be reanimated and attached to a donor body. Presumably not in that order. I don't know yet how I missed that ball, and I know he thought he threw it by me. He thought he threw it by me. I could just sense, he said, gee, give me that ball, throw another one by him. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hello guys, please subscribe to Daily Top 10's YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10's YouTube channel.